So after checking, I'm giving it another shot. I'm doing debug mode. Uh, I'll let it pass. I already covered some of the things that do work. And I do want to show you something. Like uh, one of the things here is that it just give more verbosity on the kernel log. But if I do exit, I continue booting, look, look what happens. I haven't touched this computer in like 10 years, uh, but l look what's happening. Okay. And we need to do a double X. It also didn't touch Android X86 for a while. So you see here we have the display looks different. That's a mod setting, right? That's the, uh, that's a KMS, okay, kernel mod setting. And we can see here DRM, okay, and switching to color frame buffer, da, 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 great. And here we have the Novo frame buffer device on frame buffer zero. And about the AVC, don't worry too much because it's supposed to be permissive, I suppose. If you know, like Android or SE Linux. Um, but here's the thing, um, it all gets stuck because it is NVIDIA and it's not like a 2024 where NVIDIA um, you know, sells GPU not necessarily for graphics and gets more open source, gets much more open source. Uh, this is from way, way, way before that. So this is why it got stuck. Um, you know, it's just like a kind of analysis. But since we're having a graphic talk, or by the time you see it, you probably already had it, then it's very interesting to look at some of the logs here. And I might, um, I might actually get to them there. Okay, so it's pretty interesting. Like we see uh, some of like the uh, the mode settings. Uh, what are the DPMS mode, the different connectors. So it connects nicely with what we wanted to see. And since I know that I have another computer that does run Intel, uh, an Intel GPU uh, in it, uh, because when I was giving talks about running Android on Intel devices, 2013, 2014, maybe 2012, maybe even 2011, um, I was using a very similar computer. Okay, so let me just go ahead and connect the other one. Both are so old that, I mean, you know, they will not even work without, without a, a power device. So let's just see if this, if my memory does not betray me. Yeah, <laughs> I disconnected power. Now let's change one more thing for another old thing. This one has HDMI, wow. It's very, very, very uh, sophisticated. Very nice. And I'll also boot it, but I do not intend to, I do not, I think one of the USB ports here also doesn't work. I don't remember which one. So I connected the other computer, I booted Linux just to make sure that my memory does not betray me. And we can indeed see that this one has the i915 DRM driver in it. And we actually have dev FP0 because it also has DRM FP. It's part of the graphic talks, of the first graphic talk since 2020 uh, in the meetup that I'm running. Um, yeah, so here, if things don't work, uh, then it's definitely not because of, of, a, of the display driver. So let me reboot, make sure that uh, the boot order is set to USB. And then uh, let's see the live CD of Android x86. Uh, I will not install it uh, simply because I need things in this particular computer. So let's see. Okay, so this looks like my boot device, like the one that is highlighted. So I'm going to try and do it. And you can see that the graphics here are nicer because, because they did something with USB here, okay? So uh, 
they made some effort and that's pretty nice, pretty impressive. And let me just go ahead and hit enter here. So it's detecting Android x86. Annual controller version, you may experience problem. A firmware bug, but it did find something. And it does not look very happy at the moment, but at least it gives a console. All right, there goes the boot animation. Um, this is Android 9. I was no longer working on Android x86 at this time, and I have not tried a device in years, okay? I've been working a lot on this project. Um, but let's see what's going on. I mean, the fact that we see Android is a positive indication to start with. And there you go. Like we see the hider, I will not install. We see like, a, yeah, I'll just try to do things as fast as possible. I, let's see if it picks up something. Yeah, this is my phone, okay? So, you know what, let's do it. So I'm hitting next. I mean, it does look like an Android device, right? I don't want to copy anything. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to sign in. No offense. Skip. I don't want anything. But, I mean, we have something that works here, right? Um, Scrolling would definitely work, swiping would work, <laughs> it goes the, the opposite direction. Uh, truth to be told, I, yeah, I don't want to protect it, sorry. Yeah, let's give it anyway. I mean, I'm pretty sure that like, um, like the tracking, it doesn't work so well here. Select the home app. Yeah, they added all kinds of features. I can honestly say I couldn't care less. Um, but yeah. So let's see what applications are installed here. So this is what it is. They have like a terminal emulator. That's nice. This looks like Android, my friends. And it is Android. And we can go ahead and uh, enable developer setting and then see. Um... No, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, but it recognizes that this is our device, E7440. OK, great. And I saved myself by Alt-Tabbing, but uh, what I want to do, I like to get rid of this. I did not mean to do that. And I don't know, ah, there it is. It's too Android-ish. Oh, okay. I thought that uh, apparently I can swap, the only touching is broken here in this particular computer, okay? Um, yeah, but we can go to about, and let's see, this is like uh, the build, and it can tell us that we have Mesa DRI, okay? I mean, I told you, I, know, I knew it would, it would work, and I suppose that, like the regular tricks, and yeah, now we're developer, all right, uh, I actually forgot where I see like the... I thought it was on the Android version, but perhaps they just, uh, yeah, perhaps they just modified it. Like usually I would want to to see like a button, you know, like uh, this Android game or something like that. And we know that we have Wi-Fi because we have Wi-Fi, all right? Just for the sports, uh, let's see if Bluetooth also works here. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. And I'm actually not 100% sure that it works. But yeah, it does work. And in the past, I did a couple of talks, you know, how of me like passing, uh, uh, passing files. And I think that they were not recorded back then. It was before the conference was recorded everything. So that's it. There is an Android. It works. Mostly because of DRI. And 
we're all set. So this works.